What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 10.1 yesterday and in this video we're going to be talking about the new features and bug fixes as well as a much anticipated jailbreak update. So first of all, iOS 10.1 is mainly an update geared towards iPhone 7 Plus users as it includes a major new camera feature called portrait mode. So if you don't know what portrait mode is, it basically just allows you to take DSLR like portrait photos using the dual camera setup exclusive to the 7 Plus. Now portrait mode is amazing, it's an awesome feature and here are a few pictures I actually took with portrait mode so you can get an idea as to how good they actually look. Now I do want to mention that the feature is still in beta. We are on the final version of 10.1 but this feature is still in beta so that's why some of the corners can be a little bit off on the objects and focus as you can see in the knife image especially. As for those with an iPhone 7, a 6s, a 6, a 5s, iOS 10.1 is not going to be a big deal for you unless you experience some of the bugs that have just been fixed with 10.1. However, there are a couple of new features in the Messages app which basically have already been covered in the beta version but it is now in the final version of 10.1. One of those new features in the Messages app is that you can now replay message effects anytime you want which is pretty cool for reliving the moment. So if somebody sent you a happy birthday text and it had the balloons, you know, and some real big effect that looked really cool and it really made you smile, you can relive that moment a week later, a month later, a year later by just tapping the little replay button right there. Another feature related to the message effects is that you can now have reduced motion enabled while still experiencing the message effects, which is something you cannot do in iOS 10. iOS 10.1 also brings transit support for all major trains, subway, ferry, and national bus lines, which is pretty cool for those of you that use the public transit system. So the list of bug fixes in iOS 10.1 is quite extensive and you will actually be able to see these before updating your phone to 10.1 but some of those bug fixes some of the ones that stood out to me are the Bluetooth connectivity issues especially in certain cars like BMW the improved performance of airplay mirroring and also some fixes pertaining to the iCloud photo library crashing it would actually crash when you tried to back up your photos with iCloud. All right, so enough about the bug fixes and the small features in iOS 10.1. Let's talk about the jailbreak. So I, along with others, believe that Pingu was actually waiting for iOS 10.1 to be released before releasing a jailbreak. Since the final 10.1 update could have patched the exploit they're using, they wanted to make sure that it didn't patch it before even thinking about dropping a jailbreak for iOS 10. So does this mean that we're getting a jailbreak soon? Well, Probably, but again, everything is speculation at this point as the Pengu team does not announce or even hint at an upcoming jailbreak. They just release them out of nowhere and watch the jailbreak community go nuts. Now in my previous iOS 10 jailbreak update videos, I talked about a potential release date being anywhere from October to November. Now that date could still be accurate, but if for some reason it doesn't release in November, I would be very surprised if it didn't get released in December. Pengu usually only waits about a month until after the latest iOS release to drop a jailbreak, so we can definitely expect a jailbreak within the next month or two. Now if you are currently jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3 or earlier, I would definitely wait for the jailbreak to be released before updating to iOS 10. And if you're on iOS 10 but you're not on the latest 10.1, I would just stay put where you're at until we know for sure which firmwares are able to be jailbroken. And as usual, I will update you guys when any updates regarding the iOS 10 jailbreak become available and I will be one of the first with a tutorial on YouTube showing how to jailbreak iOS 10.1. So make sure to turn on my notifications if you haven't already. Just go ahead and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button below this video. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a like if you're looking forward to that iOS 10 jailbreak and I have a lot more videos in store so make sure to subscribe for that as well. So thanks again for watching guys and I will see you soon.